So let's make a speed comparison between the fastest SafeShares device until now, the Yola tablet, against the new flagship device, uh, Sony Xperia X, also running SafeShares. So I don't have a benchmark here because the benchmark application crashes on the Yola tablet. So no benchmarks here, but we want to start with uh, some simple applications. So let's first start up in the browser. So one, two, three. And as you can see here, the Xperia X loaded the browser a little bit faster. Um, we don't close the browser, we just minimize it. Oops, where's the browser? <laughs> ah, it's minimized. Hmm. Strange. Uh, the next application that we want to start is the media application. And again, on the Xperia X, I have more media. Uh, so it might take a lot uh, longer to load them. And I think the browser is doing something in the background. Let me close this one tab because it's downloading stuff and I don't want to, want to have downloading stuff. So to make it fair, now one, two, three, the media application. And I think almost the same, because you can see here 77 titles only, and here it's still loading 1,600 so something titles. So it takes a little bit longer here. Then uh, the next application is an Android application. It's the F-Droid Store. So to see how fast Android applications run or launch. And as you can see here, almost the same, maybe slightly a bit faster on the Xperia X. When it comes to applications, we also have the recording application, one, two, three, for recording audio, no difference here. Then the next application is the calculator, of course, one, two, three, and almost the same again. So no surprise here. When uh, it comes to listening to music, uh, listening to podcasts, we have the G-Pod application, one, two, three. And as you can see, a lot quicker on the Xperia X device in comparison to the Yola tablet. The next application is my video player, and it's video player, one, two, three. As you can see, almost identical in terms of launch times. Then Quicktit, the Reddit client, one, two, three. And a lot quicker on the Yola tablet compared to the Xperia X, as you can see. So interesting that Quicktit also loaded fast on the Yola C. Uh, series finally. Uh, one, two, three. And quicker on the Xperia X again. Then the next one is the camera application, of course. One, two, three. And faster on the Xperia X again. Oops. So the next application we want to start is a game, a native game called Hebo, one of my favorite games. I think I have it here somewhere as well. One, two, three. And you can see almost the same, maybe slightly a bit faster on the Xperia X. And yeah, the next thing, the next uh, is of course for our nerds, the terminal application. One, two, three. Oh, quicker on the Xperia X. Then the next application is an Android application under streaming apps Cine Trailer. We do have streaming apps. One, two, three. An Android application. So as you can see, a lot quicker here. Loading, of course, the ads as well. And yeah, quicker on the Xperia X. 
Then the next thing as you can see here is also a little bit laggy, I guess. Oh no, it's smooth. Um, Amazon Music. Uh, we have it in the streaming here, I think. Also on the streaming here. One, two, three. Also an Android application. And you can see a lot quicker on the Xperia X in comparison to the Yola tablet, which takes slightly a bit longer. Then the next application is uh, the map application, maps application called Poor Maps. Should have uh, one, two, three. A native application, and as you can see, again a lot quicker on the Xperia X device. And the last but not least, I thought would be nice to have a real 3D game running as well on both devices and see how the loading times are and I'm starting it the last because it might be that it closes up other applications in the background because it needs a little bit of memory. Asphalt Nitro on both on both uh, devices uh, an Android application. So as you can see here a lot quicker on the Xperia X device already and yeah, I think the Yola tablet is closing stuff in the background. Okay, it's complaining about the Google Play service is not installed, but I don't want them to be installed and it's complaining about other stuff. Uh, but as you can see, uh, loading times a lot faster on the Xperia X device again. It's still loading here on the Yola tablet. I'm not sure what it's telling me here, but Okay, no thanks, no thanks, we want to start a game, take the same circuit and see how fast they are when it comes to loading the actual game. So remember Snapdragon 650 and here it's an Intel Atom something something. So x86 versus ARM. So let's see who's faster in loading the game. Oh, pretty much nose to nose but now I think the Xperia X takes the lead. And as you can see, so pretty close, a lot closer than in terms of loading times. So now let's minimize both games. Still running in the background. Let's go and see if the browser still runs. Nope. On the Yola tablet it's reloading the browser. And the media playing application also reloading on the Yola tablet again. So the three gigabytes of RAM play a big role here. As you can see it's very slowly loading. f I think the same. Yeah. Reloading time again on the yellow tablet. Uh, the record application also reloading. Pretty much everything closed down I think on the yellow tablet and uh, pretty much everything still running smoothly here as you can see. Yep, it's reloading everything on the yellow tablet. I think the it, it just ate up the memory. As you can see here they all grayed out basically and here it's still running smoothly and still in the background so 3 gigabytes of RAM make a difference, a big difference when it comes to uh, performance and multitasking. As you can see here, uh, basically every application is reloading. Reloading quick did. So yeah, a clear winner I guess is the Yola, uh, the uh, Xperia X device again won against the Yola tablet in this case. So we have a new flagship, we have a new winner in terms of fast fastest device running safe S, which is the Xperia X. And now for the closing test, because uh, more applications open here. Ah, this was a little bit unfair, but as you can see, works nice.